guys, this is Jenna from exercisesforinjuries.com and Lifelong Wellness. Today I'd like to welcome you to these four exercises for better posture. So what we're gonna go through here is just those four movements and by the end of the video, hopefully your posture is gonna be improved and your shoulders, upper back, neck are all gonna feel much better. So the first exercise that we're gonna do is a chair stretch. So if you're seated right now, that's perfect, stay where you are. What we're going to do is sit on the edge of our chair, starting in good alignment here. Then I'm going to bring my hands to, uh, to the chair, either on the armrest or on the chair behind me. Then what I'm going to do is bringing my chest forward, feeling a good stretch already in the front of my chest and shoulders. I'm going to bring my hips up to the sky as well, keeping my chin tucked. So here, getting a really good stretch at the front of the chest and the shoulders, holding for five to 10 seconds coming down and you'd go into a second repetition. Now if you want something a little bit more, what you can do is coming down to the ground, starting in a four point position here, hands and feet on the ground, then again tucking that chin, bringing the chest up, shoulder blades together, coming up here. Now this is much more intense than the chair stretch, but again just choosing the one that works better for you. Coming down. So either way, doing two repetitions for a five to 10 second hold, whether you choose to do it from the chair or from the ground, totally up to you. So we've stretched out um, the chest and the shoulders. Now the second one, we're gonna set our shoulders in good alignment. Um, it's gonna be our shoulder rolls. So for this, what we're gonna do is bringing our shoulders forward, up, around, and back. Once we bring them back, we're gonna squeeze at this end position with our shoulder blades together and down for a couple seconds, letting go, bringing those shoulders forward, up, around, back. Again, a good squeeze at the end position. So we're gonna do five repetitions of this. You can work your way up to 10 if you like eventually. Just wanna set our shoulders in a good position here. So again, back and down, two more. Four. And five. Awesome. So that was our second exercise. Number three that we're gonna be doing is our standing rows. So again, we're gonna be working on our posture and bringing our shoulders back. We're strengthening the back and stretching out the chest. So for your standing rows, what you can do is either with dumbbells or with a resistance band. I'm gonna use a resistance band for this one. So I have my band here. I'm gonna step on the band, so under both feet. And then what I'm gonna do is Bending my knees, feet are shoulder width apart, setting my hips back. I'm going to bring my elbows up towards the sky, pinching my shoulder blades together. So handles are up now by my chest. And we're gonna work through five to 10 repetitions. So as I do this, my neck's in good alignment. Again, I'm bringing my shoulder blades together, stretching out the chest. There we go. So that's with the resistance band. Again, if you don't have one, if you have dumbbells, or some other kinds of resistance, like water bottles, something like that. What it will look like is this. And that's it. So number four that we're gonna do is more of a full body stretch. We're also gonna stretch out our hips a little bit and get our legs engaged. This is great, especially if you've been sitting for a while, and that's gonna be the full body opener. So starting with our feet shoulder width apart, bending at our knees, hinging at our hips, sending our hips back, my back's in a straight line, my core's nice and tight, my head is as well in a straight line so it's not cocked up or down, my arms are behind me nice and powerful, pushing through my heels, I'm gonna bring my hips forward so now I'm getting a good stretch in my hips. As I do this, I'm bringing my arms overhead. Once I'm here, I can take a gentle back bend backwards, so sending my hips forward, reaching back, looking back. So we're gonna work through five to 10 repetitions of that, showing it from the other side. Again, hips back, my back's in good alignment, my core's nice and tight. So I'm learning this movement of keeping my neck in good alignment. Then coming up, stretching my hips, shoulders back, and down. So do this with your own breath. We're at three. Four. And our last one, five. Okay, so that was your four exercises for better posture. Give those a go, make whatever modifications you need. Again, for the first exercise, if you wanna do that from a chair 
or the ground, that's great. If you want to add weight to the shoulder rolls, that's okay too, so you can hold dumbbells in your hands. The standing rows, again, with the resistance bands or the dumbbells. And the full body opener, more of a full body stretch, so you don't need to add resistance for that if you don't want to. So give those exercises a go. Um, that's it. Let me know if you enjoyed this video. Give us a thumbs up if you did. If you have any questions or comments about the exercises or anything like that, leave them in the comment section below. And lastly, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you subscribe. So that's it. This is Jenna from Exercises for Injuries and Lifelong Wellness. Take care. Bye-bye.